Hello everybody, welcome back to Fashion Style Edit and welcome to another video. Now, if this is your first time here, my name is Vilma. I am covering for Jess this week and I thought I would recreate a few of her outfits that I've been loving on her Instagram. Now, I've been loving Jess's style for a very long time and I'm super honored that she asked me to do this collaboration. And the best form of flattery, in my opinion, is to take somebody else's essence or a little bit of inspiration from their particular styles. So in this video, I will be recreating five of Jess's outfits that I've taken from her Instagram account. And I'm pretty sure she has rocked those outfits here on her channel. So not only I'm recreating some of Jess's outfits, I'm also doing her minimal and signature makeup look. She likes very natural makeup, no foundation, kind of like barely their makeup. So if you are interested, in the makeup that I'm wearing right now. I'll leave a link below to my channel so you can watch the entire tutorial. And of course, if you enjoy content such as this, please make sure to take a minute to subscribe to Jess's channel along with mine. The link will be below for you guys. And let's get started. As we already know, Jess likes the effortless and chic type of style, and I find that she represents it so well with all of her outfits. So outfit number one is going to be this one right here, where Jess is wearing a very simple white tank top with a slip skirt, and she layered it with a blue shirt. Now, I'm not entirely sure what type of shoes Jess is wearing, in this outfit, I can't fully remember, but this outfit to me looks very effortless and it also looks very boho chic. So the pieces that I decided to pair to create this outfit are the pieces that I'm actually wearing right now. So I am wearing a cotton bodysuit that is very similar to what she's wearing. And for bottoms, I decided to wear a slip skirt, which is made of a silk blend in this a gorgeous beige shade. Now, I don't have the exact skirt that she's wearing, and that's why I went for this shade. I feel like the whole flowiness of the outfit and the skirt itself is very, very effortless. Now, when it comes to Jess's bag, I have a basket bag, but I don't have the exact same one that she's wearing. So I decided to wear just a simple black bag, which looks very chic. I feel like it goes really well and it does elevate the outfit. And on my feet, I am wearing strappy sandals. I feel like the whole outfit now looks a little bit boho chic, just like Jess's. And I really love without the shirt. But because I wanted to replicate what she's wearing with different shades, I layered my outfit with a white cotton shirt. This one is from Marquette, and it's more of a regular fit rather than a oversized shirt. Not that Jess is wearing an oversized one, but I do like the oversized style. But I decided to just wear a regular fit, and I feel like the overall outfit came out really, really nice. So outfit number two is this one right here from Jess. And funny enough, I actually have the same trousers that she's wearing in this photo. Now I absolutely love how she styled the shirt and then she added some brown tones. The shirt is more of a kind of like lighter blue. Maybe it looks like baby blue on the photo, but I think the photo looks very bright. And then on her feet, she is wearing golden sandals, which are strappy and are very, very minimal. I feel like everything just flows together very nice and very effortless. And for her glasses, I believe she's wearing brown shade glasses, which I do not have, and I also don't have a brown tote. So to recreate this outfit, of course, I'm wearing the same trousers. As I mentioned, I have the exact same ones, and I paired it with another item from Marquette, which is the blue shirt. Now, this shirt is quite oversized, but I still feel like it came out really good together with the trousers. For belts, 
I have paired it with a belt from H&M, which is made of leather, the same similar tone that Jess is wearing. For my bag, I didn't have a tote bag, as I mentioned, so I decided to style it with my Pollen Paris Nano Bag in the camel shade, which I feel like complements the belt. And on my feet, I am wearing a gold strappy sandals from H&M. I feel like the overall outfit, the way I recreate it, is super similar to Jess's. And for sunglasses, I am wearing black sunglasses because as mentioned, I do not have any brown sunglasses. So moving right along to outfit number three, it's this outfit right here, which I really, really adore. So Jess is wearing a white dress and she added a belt to kind of like give it a little bit more shape. Her bag, I'm pretty sure, is one of the Pauline Paris bags, which she loves. and. It is on my wish list as well. And then she paired it with some simple tan sandals. So to recreate this outfit, I am wearing an old white cotton dress from H&M that is so pretty. I absolutely love this dress. It has a little bit of embroidery on glay. And I added the belt also to give me a little bit more shape because this dress is a little bit on the wider side. The belt that I've added is a thinner tan belt made of leather that I've had for some time. For my bag, I decided to pair it with my Colin Paris Nano Bag in the Camel Shade. I just feel like this white dress goes so well with tan shades. And on my feet, I am wearing braided leather sandals from End of the Stories, which I love. I'm obsessed with these sandals, and I feel like the overall outfit came out very similar to Jess's, but the dress is a little bit different, and that is the beauty of recreating your own outfits by taking inspiration from other people, is that you create your own, but it looks very, very much alike. I'm really sorry if you can hear the wind or sounds in the background. It's very, very windy in my area. So hopefully, fingers crossed when I'm editing this video, I'll be able to remove all of the background noise. Okay, so moving right along to outfit number four. So Jess is wearing darker shades. She's wearing a black tank. I believe if it's not black, it's navy blue. She paired it with some blue slacks which I believe are from Cause. I'm pretty sure she's mentioned this before and I absolutely love this outfit on her. It's very smart casual. She added a brown belt, which I think it's very smart because it kind of like breaks down the darker shades. On her feet, she's wearing ballet pumps in a very nude shade, along with another pollen bag and everything just flows really, really well together. Now, I don't have the exact same pieces. I don't have blue slacks, so I decided to style this outfit with a black bodysuit that I've had for some time. It's kind of like ripped, but it's made of cotton. On my bottoms, I am wearing a pair of a dark denim, which I think is very similar to the trousers that she's wearing. These are the Levi's rib cage. And I also styled it with a brown belt, again, because I find this very smart. It really breaks down the shades because they're very dark and it adds a little bit more interest to the outfit. For bag, I don't have the same exact tote bag from Palen Paris, so I decided to style with my own Palen Paris bag, which is the mini in the shade sand. And for my shoes, I am wearing ballet flats as well. These are from Massimo Dutti. I don't think these are in stock anymore, but I will try and link the ones from Jess's outfit or something very similar below for you guys. So the outfit came out very similar to what she's wearing, but instead of wearing cotton trousers, I'm actually wearing denim. And my last 
last outfit is this one right here which I feel is very very just a style very Parisian and very effortlessly chic 100% I really love how she styled these trousers which appear to me to be just a little bit wider or slouchy on her she cuffed them at the bottom at the top she's wearing i believe it's a blouse i can't fully see all of the details she paired it with the brown tones the belt the bag and the sandals as well now for me to recreate this outfit i really took attention to detail however as mentioned it doesn't have to be the exact same pieces so i used what i already had that was similar that i could capture the same essence that jess has in this outfit so as you can see side by side my outfit is very very much inspired but it is a little bit different so the top that i'm actually wearing is just a simple tank top that is a little bit wider and on my bottoms i'm wearing blue denim just like jess but mine are straight legs so i wasn't able to cuff them but i feel like it still works pretty well this way i added my h&m belt again just to add a little bit more interest just like jess's outfit bag i am wearing my tan bag from Paul in Paris that I love so much. I just find that this bag goes with everything in my wardrobe. And because I don't have any heels that are similar to the ones that Jess is wearing in her photo, I decided to just pair this outfit with my braided sandals or slides from another stories. I feel like the tan shades really complement the entire outfit. And for outerwear, I'm wearing a cool tone trench coat this one is from massimo duty it's made of viscose it's quite heavy and substantial but it's very flowy at the same time and i feel like i really captured her essence in this particular outfit the only thing i'm missing is a pair of tan high heels but i still think that the flat slides worked really really well We've reached the end of this video thank you so much to Jess for allowing me to post a video here on her channel if you like this type of content please make sure to give this video a good thumbs up and also leave a comment below giving us your feedback on this week's video so thank you so much for watching make sure to come back in a week's time to see the next video from Jess and I'll see you very very soon bye